Oh, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Tillian today along with... Smeetrick here, at your service. And welcome to a game we, we the both of us have been playing for a while, but never streamed, I think. Though I, I did join a stream with Beanie at one point where he was <laughs> playing this game. Uh, welcome to Valheim, and it seems that my... No, oh, yeah, we... Uh, I might need to lower the graphics some, since, uh, well... <laughs> You can't see it at the moment because you're actually in game, but uh, yeah, the avatar is being a bit uh, jittery. So let me just lower all of this down a tad. And yeah, probably no. limit this to 60 FPS. Yeah, I, I noticed that uh, when I started that it's best to keep it 60 FPS, otherwise the graphical will run unnecessarily much. Like, the, the thing with this game is you don't need it to be super high, dude. But it still looks good, even on medium. Yeah, though at the moment things are looking a bit dark because, well, it's nighttime and we're inside with only this fire as a light source. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, Valheim is a is a survival uh, combat game. Or would that be an accurate description? Uh, survival, yes. A Viking survival game. Uh, Viking adventure yeah. survival. Yeah. <laughs> I probably don't need. I probably don't need to give too much introduction to this game since it, well, got very, very popular uh, some time ago. And recently, the newest updates and newest area was added in the Mistlands update. So uh, yeah, we thought. Well, we were planning on streaming this again. I'm not sure. I can't remember if we streamed it before, but we were definitely going we to start playing again after Mistlands added uh, started and. Uh, yeah, typically the start in this game is rather slow, so to make things a bit easier on ourselves and, well, anyone watching. <laughs> so you don't have to uh, watch us punch trees and run after boars and uh, deer for like five days straight or something. Uh, we decided to import our characters from, well, our old world. And we have some pretty good gear. We... Uh, most of the materials we left behind, so both we will be well working from start mostly with that. Uh, though I did, <laughs> I did bring along some linen thread. I think I just have that in my inventory still, and yeah, I probably need to make a torch quickly so I can actually see what the hell is in here. But uh, basically, we just set up two beds and a bunch of chests and a workbench. The workbench is required for crafting and building because, well, you can't build unless there is a workbench nearby. And the building system in this game is really nice. Oh, let's see. You dream you are lying yes. on your bed in a meadow, gazing upward at the clouds. Your name is nothing, your mind is free of thoughts, but there's a warm hand in yours. And we couldn't read the list. Yeah, uh, as I said, I, I think this is my favorite building system. Like, it's not perfect. Like every business that has something, but it's definitely the best one out there. And it gives you a chance to think of structural integrity, so. Yeah, and the yeah. fact that if you break something, you get the full amount back. Oh, that as well. For it, it is a challenging game, but it is fair in many places. Like, most of the time you get punished is when. But you can see it gets more punished for being reckless. And let me add a bit, a few quote-unquote windows, so we have a bit more light inside. And yeah, what he means with the stru structural integrity stuff is, well, all of this with the building hammer looks green. That means that it is well supported from the ground. If we were, to, well, that little bit just turned a lighter shade of green, which means that it is less supported. And as you build up and outwards from a part that is uh, supported, on the ground, like here. Uh, blue means that it is touching the ground and thus completely stable. Uh, that'll do, I think. But yeah, if I were to just grab a bunch of these and then go like this, it'll start yeah. discoloring. Uh, yeah, there we go. It takes a second for it to register, but everything past a red point will break. Yeah, I, I prefer to keep my buildings between blue, dark green, and light green. So I'm, I'm, and 
I think he can, have, may have seen that I'm playing with him a lot, and I've taken a lot of experimentation with building. Yeah, he likes to build a lot. Uh, yeah, and I even figured out some good ways to use cool wood to lower the floor to easier have a campfire on the ground without raising the ground. Uh, another system in Valheim is the food system right next to our health, which is a poultry 25 at the moment. Uh, you have a bunch of different foods that you could eat, but each of them gives stats, like the blueberries here. They give 8 maximum health and 25 stamina. It will last for 10 minutes, and they will give 1 HP of healing per tick. I don't know exactly when a tick is, but it isn't every second. Uh, some foods will need to be prepared, of course, like fish and meats, but plants and such you can easily just <laughs> eat as is. <laughs> and someone's happy to be playing this game again. Yep. But yeah, we've not seen this before, but we have... Well, we were on Beanies as a guest, but we have talked about streaming this. But we made them yeah. talk that should we stream with this once Mistland comes out? And this and very same day, this land came out. Yeah, then we talked about it again. We talked about it many times between Ork and Valheim, but honestly, Valheim is probably better one to stream since Ork can be finicky. Yeah, and it's also a hundred times the size in fire. Yeah, and I actually pondered uh, some uh, not uh, some one day ago and realized. Valheim is more fun, and I, it's one of, Orc I have hot and recommended to it's how massive it is, and it's still buggy, but Valheim is okay price, it's about 1-2 gig. So even if you have slow internet, it won't take you forever to download, unlike Ark, which may take you an entire day. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we've got some bird seeds, we've got some beet seeds. We can use those to uh, replant trees. Yeah, oh, and... also, it, the devs may be a small team, but they have been really working hard to minimize the bugs and just try to get rid of them. That somehow did not destroy anything there. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I need to tell everyone that this game is kind of become famous for falling trees, killing people. Yep. Uh, oh, and we're getting attacked. Yep. Yeah, this may happen. And this is good. I didn't know that, I didn't know the deer could do this. I, I thought this, this would typically this... start after you started killing bosses. No, no, this is the first race you're supposed to get just... Men usually rush to kill the deer so fast that they, yeah, ended up missing it. We need some uh, food, give some stamina. Stamina okay. is needed for running, attacking, basically anything. <laughs> it is, it, this is actually useful, yeah, because this, <laughs> this is basically uh, Uber Eats delivering food to us. Yeah, also, boars and eggs are afraid of fire. Like great dwarves and graylings, so yeah, they're destroying and attacking us. Yeah, I was actually just, putting those down to keep the graylings out, but yeah, yeah, just don't fight on the farm for you can accidentally destroy your harvest. Yeah, uh, the cultivator here basically a pitchfork. You're so you're supposed to get that a little bit later after you start getting into metals. <clears throat> oh, war. But yeah, we're making it easier on ourselves. Though we didn't bring it, I I didn't bring along any seeds, so I only got some carrots I found. Nope. Oh, they're coming I, in there. I mean, we, like we should have brought some of the other seeds. So, as said this. Let's bring the the other stuff, some other stuff from our own map. Once we, we picked a better base location. Yeah, this is over here. Is basically the spawn area. The main goal of the game so far is to just go out and kill these bosses. Uh, starting with the deer here, Ikthir or something it was called. Uh, yeah, Ikthir. Ikthir! Hmm? Yeah, close enough. But yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
certain bosses to get to uh, before I think there were only five up to the lich or something here uh Yoglo uh, uh, Yoglo for something yeah, yeah. each know, of those really... hang out in their own biomes this one is new with the mistlands I presume yeah that's the queen and so she unique she has her own boss arena that you enter. This is okay. she has her own dungeon. Okay. I know this one has a summoning area, and this one as well. Yeah, everyone and... except her has a summoning area. And don't don't break the vague visor. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of the weeds in front of it. But yeah, at the start we get this stone, which will show you where the first boss is. From there on, you'll have to find them on your own, or you'll have to find stones similar to this one to, well, locate where you can summon you know, or fight the bosses. Uh, also, the area around these stones are protected, so we can't do this here. So you, you can't build in a certain radius around this place. I don't know the exact thing, radius, but... Oh, well, it's not a... It is a decent idea to have a small outpost here to start from, of course. And, well, to have some gear ready for if you die and you respawn over here without a safe, you know, without a respawn point. Because that's yeah. another thing that these beds are for, respawning, of course. Yep, and also a portal for later, since you want to be able to teleport here to put on their, their fallen bosses' heads on, this, on the hooks. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We will have one complication until we get to a decent point because our equipment here, we can't repair it as it is because... Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Why did I sound like a goat there for a moment? You can repair stuff for free at the appropriate crafting station, but at the moment that will only be our construction, ha our building hammers because for... Yeah, all of these, we need a forge to repair them. Though I will make a few wooden arrows. Because it'd be a bit of a shame to, well, <laughs> run around with a bow and no arrows. So let's equip those with a right click. Uh, how do you want your neck tail? Out. Well done? Uh, better than raw. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we have these little cooking stations. You can hang food from it, or meats of, at, at the least. And then you'll have to wait a bit for it to, well, <laughs> be done. And, yeah, the reason that the, the fire is over there instead of, like, in the middle or something is, for one, we can run into it and light ourselves on fire. For two, there's smoke coming off of that. And if it was sealed, if the smoke couldn't get away, we would start suffocating in there. That is something that has caught a lot of people unawares in this game. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was surprised by this as well, and I mean, for my benefit is, even on Ark and Ark games, I usually try to, just out of roleplay perspective, try to have a chimney. Yeah. So that habit <laughs> ended up being a benefit for this one. Yeah, he basically said you haven't been a new Valheim player if you haven't managed to choke yourself out of your own house at one point or another. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I avoided choking to death. The, the, wait, the only time I always would choke it is when you try to make a chimney. Yeah. Um, we have some other things of the building stuff to go. We, we Up in the... Well, at the top of the screen, we have those uh, statuses. We have resting, we have shelter, we have the fire, because there's a fire nearby. And rested. Rested, um, I forget... I forget if you can... Re uh, release your mouse from the just looking around to hover over them or something but those are basically well shelter means we have a roof over our head and yeah shell uh, resting is well you are in a comfortable place and once you leave or once you've you know, put enough time in there you will gain the rested buff which will if i remember correctly lower your stamina consumption actually i i, I have it up here resting your current resting health stamina generation is slightly higher. Health regen, 200%. Stamina regen, 300%. ET regen, which is new, 300%. And also, yeah. oh, 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 wait, that's resting. Uh, rested. You feel rested, health stamina regen are higher. Health regen, 50%. Stamina regen, 100%. ET regen, so, okay. So the resting is when you sit down and rest. 
The other one is when your feet rested. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we, you, we can sit down with X. And I believe that will up our regeneration uh, of stamina and such by quite a bit. And the last thing up there, Megan George, is basically we've got a belt that allows us to carry a lot more stuff because we have a weight limit of 300 at base. Yeah. Which I, is I, good, but in late game, when you start getting more into stone stuff, you'll want that. Yeah, actually, I started new character with some new stuff, and I made sure first to start with the belt, and bloody heck, starting with the belt made so and almost everything easier since you were able to carry so much more to be your starter house. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be put. Let's put all of the meats in the chest next to the fire so we know where they oh, are and I such. Already started doing that. Okay. Uh, so I feel like we definitely need to get to into Black Forest to get some copper or and certainly cores. So just, just to have a forge. So we can repair stuff. Yeah. So, the, shall we go for the Black Forest or shall we go straight for the boss? We can basically take them easy as is. Hmm. And they are next to it. Actually, uh, it might be good to go direct for the boss, Sans. Let's be honest. We may need those picks access as backups. Yeah. Uh,. It is basically required that that, uh, good. that remind you reminded me there. You need to kill the boss, the first boss, to gain access to pickaxes to well get stone and metal. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> you use its freaking antlers as pickaxes. So let's see. I'm good on food at the moment. Uh, let's see. What do we do oh, yeah, for health? Apparently, I had with me onion soup, which is very good stamina food. Yeah. Uh, prepared foods are, of course, better than just raw foods, but at the start, just the berries and mushrooms will be enough. And oh, yeah, wait. I basically toured around the entirety of this island <laughs> uh, just to map it out. Oh, and, um. Uh, we need. Uh, yeah, we, we both forgot there. I think we need. <laughs> We need deer trophies to offer to this thing before it will actually come for us. Do we have any? Yeah. Hunt his kin, it says. And we yeah, know we... I only have a, a boar trophy. Oh, we only need two heads. Yeah. And we both have bows with well, pretty good stats. Yeah, See. do. Mine is, uh, is about uh, two of a third. In durability, so okay. we Mine may school. need. Hmm, I think we may need to do some fine wood, uh, uh, bow. I can do. We can chop those down and such. Yeah, uh, we, we need core wood and fine wood. Yeah, core wood we can get from the black forest. Fine wood we can get from these uh, what are they called again? Birch trees. With your first axes, you can't actually cut those down yet because they're too hard. And speaking of oaks... And yeah, most weapons have a secondary attack with the middle mouse button. Typically... Okay, I never got those, it seems. Uh, yeah, you unlock recipes as you gather new materials. Oh, uh, hey, hmm? Something rare just happened. What? We got an acorn. Yes. So we can plant Those... our own. Yeah. The other trees we drop seeds and stuff, but an oak acorn is very rare. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's very lucky then. And yeah, here we have wood. We have fine woods. And here we have a grayling, our first enemy. And yeah. At... <laughs> what grayling? I, I see no grayling here. I think you're hallucinating. Uh, yeah. And I heard a deer nearby. Oh. Let me... Oh, yeah, here's another thing. If we hear a deer, it's not... It's not part of the background sound. It's an actual deer. So if you're in the mountain and hear a house... Yeah. Yeah. Right. It means there's a wolf nearby. And wolves typically come in packs. Speaking of the mountains, actually, I did find those as well. And oh, good. 
I did the music chains. Uh, yes, throughout the world you can find abandoned structures like this. We are not the first here, simply put. Yeah. Uh, oh, mushrooms. Svampar. Oh, I'll note those down. Or did I have that note already? Mushrooms. Yeah, stuff like mushrooms and berries and such, they will respawn after a time, I believe. And I'll set myself yep. as visible to other players. And we didn't... Just as I'm about to say that, I hear the deer again. Where is it? Let's see. Oh, no, that's not it. It's just a branch. <laughs> okay, where are they? Oh, there. Yeah, deer are quite skittish and quite fast as well. Let's see. Do we get any? We got deer meat, deer hides. But also, we, however, if we see a stalked one or two stalked deer, just a crude bow and a wooden arrow will not be enough to kill it. However, yeah. we have much better, so just regular wood arrows will be enough. Yeah, oh, grayling. Uh, yeah, with bows and such, the longer you hold, the more accurate and farther away the shot will go. But it'll also drain stamina. So in, in a way, the combat could be described as a sort of Dark Souls light. Very, very light. <laughs> yeah. Like light souls, almost. <laughs> yeah, you have to do... It is one of the that you have to be carefully watching your health and stamina. Just flaming like a fanatic is a good way to get you killed. Yeah, I actually got that boar. I didn't actually think I would hit it. And if I'm correctly... If, if I'm this might correct, be... Yeah, I think this is a, bo a boar stone. These rune stones, typically they don't do anything, yep. but there are the ones like this. Da -da -da, this land is hard. Da -da -da, roots of the ground are their pleasure. Boars will spawn around these things, so they make a very good place for, well, farming them. And then there's one rock climbing at the moment. <laughs> so yeah. If you find one of these, it's a good idea to map it and to mark it on your map. Yeah, oh, almost oh what? Uh, they, they, they removed a thing, if actually. No. Uh, do you remember how, how much stamina you drain when you try to climb up like a cliff? Yeah. They removed the multiplier for that. Okay. It's uh, still going to drain stamina, but it's not going to be drain that stamina that extremely heavily. Okay. And it seems that we found a little burial site. Skeletons are typically use... a bit more later than they should wait, be. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna see. Oh, no shelter from this one. All right. Some of these can give you shelter. Yeah. So I could see us using this as a uh, um, fireplace. Yeah, it is a good idea to have some outposts built around the place. And we have another oak oh, here. Yeah. But you can make portals, you're still gonna need to use boats and all that for... You can't transport metal through it with... People will split if they want it or not. I'm 50-50 for it, I'm okay with it. Not payable, but also okay with it being available, but still. It means boats and poop of the portals will be important. And outposts yeah. as well. I think it would be best if it was uh, a server option or something. No, this was yeah, for the escape. It kinda is, but the server ones will basically I think you need to use a mod for it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, there you go. Dandelions here. There will be brewing later on. And what is with that boar up on the hill? <laughs> for which uh, you will need plants and such. Uh, heat these word of Olaf. Uh, <laughs> Helium? I think I found a... Let's see, where are we? Actually, I think I found a, also a better story based on your build. Uh, not that. Oh, you're gonna love this, Helium. Yeah, there's a bunch of these. I forget what exactly the dandelions are used for, but they are used for either cooking or brewing. Brewing. And over here. Ah, Look yeah, at the map. Village. It's close to the portal and starting area. 
I think something either something's fighting over there. That's the black foot. Okay, yeah, let's make the base here. Oh, that's a burial Oops. ground. The skeletons and yep. Yeah. Uh, different factions of enemies can fight. In this case, we have skeletons fighting great uh, dwarves. Yeah, and but people are wondering, our hammers are made of silver, which makes undead burn, and undead are weak to hammers. Yeah. yeah our it's hammers make ice, thing. holy, and blunt damage, so... Yeah, undeads hate us. Yeah. And you know what? I say let's let's have this as a starter base. Says we, we have our own berry farms with two. Almost went Swedish there. For bloody sake, I mean that. But look at here, free wood. Yep. <laughs> a bunch of free wood. Yeah. Uh, these One stacks you can make yourself. One star boar. Okay. Uh, now that's a normal boar. Uh, basically, stars on enemies is their, well, basically, veteran or elite status, like in <laughs> RPG games. Uh, basically, they'll be tougher, but they'll also drop more stuff as well. And you, uh, boars can be domesticated, so if you find star boars, you, it'll be a good idea to trap them. So you can, well, feed them, tame them, and breed them. And have oh, a yeah. reliable food source. What is... Worth, and it's better, no. better to take the star one and one or two star ones, for they give more meat yep. and other loot. Uh, let's see. Let's put down a workbench here. Uh, troll, troll, troll. Oh. Trolls are, yeah, trolls. <laughs> they are tough bastards. Not the time bore. That's the one star actually. Uh, yeah, I put down. What what Rakir there did was that he parried it. Oh. Uh, yeah, when you block with a shield and strike at the exact point... Or if you block at the exact point that some one thing would uh, land a hit on you, you actually parry it, leaving them vulnerable and, well, more than open to strike. And some uh, one of the other boars is attacking the workbench. Yeah, enemies will go after the workbenches to try and, well, d destroy your bases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to lure them into this uh, fenced area. Uh, let's see. Building. I can hear you building over there. Over here, yeah. Lure them over here. Okay, it... Might need to break another. Uh, yeah. Different enemies have different attack patterns. There we go. Boars will just basically charge you, then run away and try to charge you again. Um, yeah, we can't tame it whilst it's agita agitated like that. So we'll have to leave it alone. It might actually be better if we just build full walls around it for the moment. How about two? And yeah, let me, I'll need to put down another of these here. The line, of course, shows how far away you can build. Wait, what is that? Is that a stone? No, it's not a boar. No star, so no mercy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, we can claim this thing as a base, or at the very least, even an outpost. Uh, yeah, there are villages like this around the place, often in the meadows. Though there is one type of village in the meadows that you'll want to avoid early on. And I think I marked one there. Yeah, like, they're good to attack and claim when you're a bit better prepared. But if you're a fresh noob without bronze weapons or good bow, Draugr's gonna wreck you for they are swamp level. Basically third area mobs. Yeah, Draugr villages. They can spawn in the meadows. A bit, they won't spawn in the direct area around spawn. Basically, the further away you get from the middle of the world, the more dangerous things become. Uh, but yeah, if when you can take one of those over, which will take some work and quite a lot of danger, it is a good idea too. For now, let's repair all of this stuff around here. Like with our equipment, it is you know, done for free. No, no, no material costs. We just have to 
point the hammer at it whilst we have repair selected and click. All it costs is some stamina. And that way it's very easy to take over these villages. Yeah, it, we, we use these buildings as a start, but we're gonna make better ones as quick as some uh, better lights. Yeah. Okay, let's fix the floor as well. It's, yeah, the, the health is the little bar on the side. And why is there some honey here? Was there a nest here? Uh, there was a chest that broke there. Okay. Uh, we can. Okay, typically these beds are too broken to be claimable. Uh, I, I build them. I build yeah. the just the beds. Uh, okay, so yeah, most of the beds you find in places like this will be too broken, but the, you can just break them easily. Okay, there we go. Now we have full shelter here. And we don't have enough stones to make a fire. Oh. On it. Go just got them. Just got them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, all of those rocks around the place, we can break them up with you know, pickaxes. And since we did get a donation of resin from the Great Dwarves, let's build some of those. What the? <laughs> okay, we... <laughs> We can build, we can make presents and the yule tree. Yeah, I just did that. <laughs> okay, they work like small chests, okay. Wait, they do? Oh, yep. I did not know do that. Uh, yeah, the I, comfort I they, level, uh, you can the, upgrade it the with... The Christmas tree furniture. gives you a rest and bonus. Okay. Oh. Uh, it well. doesn't note them how much it gives, but yeah, stuff like chairs, benches, tables, but the... Oh, the lightning storm. Wait, that, oh, I thought it was a, t a table. Uh, yeah, you can upgrade your the comfort in an area with these things, though it doesn't upgrade with each of them, it upgrades with each unique type. So if we put down a table over there, that should increase the comfort level. Yeah, now it's seven instead of six like it was before. Oh, also, before I forget, being wet is horrible. Like, you, you draw it forced by the fire, but also being wet drags down your stamina bone uh, regeneration. Yeah, I don't have enough wood for that. So being not rested and wet is the worst thing you can be. Yeah, let's see, let's see some more. Okay, spawn point set, and sleep the storm away. <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's dump some stuff in this chest. Uh, or chest, I tried to build a second one, but I couldn't. Uh, okay, some of the fog is getting in here, it seems. Also, uh, let me double check. No, oh, it's Holy. still raining. Okay, uh, uh, this is my second time listening to volume and headphones on, and bloody heck, it sounds real. Yeah, uh, fires, if you expose them to the open air, they will go out in rain and such. So it is advised to build a little roof over it that still allows the smoke to escape. Okay, let's see. Uh, bones... Mushrooms, I'll just take bring those along. The acorns we don't want to forget, so let's bring those along. And buke berries. Okay, I, where we got those, I don't want to know. Um, let's see, dandelions. Da, da, da. Oh, we got the trophy. We got a great dwarf <laughs> shaman trophy. Uh, trophies you can hang up in places. Let's see, building. But for that, we need... Where is it? Where is it? For love of... I don't actually see it. Also, let's put that down. See if that gives extra comfort. Where is it? There is, a, there is something you can hang these on. But I'm not seeing it in the here at the moment. Uh-oh. 
Um, not good. What's going on? Yeah, I tried to jump over the fence to get some bear. raw spirits I missed through and I landed with the boar. <laughs> okay. Where is that dance thing? I know we can't build it at the moment because we it requires nails. But I still want to show it. Where is it? It's not the signs. Now, he, now here it is, item stands. Yeah, we need bronze nails for that. From that we can hang stuff like trophies and, well, other things. Take those. There we go. I'll throw some berries into the little bugger. Yeah, it, it did get annoyed. Uh, yeah, the way you tame boars is by throwing berries at, uh, at, at them. Uh, though if they are alerted, they won't eat them and they won't get tamed. Deer. Okay, got one. Swap down. Yeah, definitely gonna need to move the farms over here since, well, you see yourself, we have some free, free farm plots. Yep, yep. Oh, is that a trophy? Or just meat? Yep, deer trophy. As long as you have room in your inventory, you'll just generally auto pick up things. And oh, we have two trophies. That means we can summon the bastard. Oh, nice. And I should probably save my iron axe for harder freeze at the moment. Okay. Uh, the second building here, we could probably upgrade into a crafting area. Yeah, or... that would... actually, we can do it. We can do a longhouse there instead. Okay. Just using this one as a temporary shelter until that house is made. Uh, that little thing above the boar's head means that it is suspicious. When it turns into an exclamation point, that means that it is alerted. And yeah, that'll work with most enemies. These berry bushes are very useful. They will refill their. They will re refill with time, but you can't yeah. plant your own. To oh, my I do, do protect them for. Today I have on my own map a troll attack just broke through my wall, wooden walls. And they shrieked. Shrek. Uh, wrecked. Like. Three or four of my farm along with my berry bushes. And we have a visitor. Bye bye, sir. So, yeah, we, we can need to uh, palisade around here. Yeah. Uh, we have another little place here. Hmm. Four trophy, no inventory space. Yeah, inventory space is going to be an issue like in every survival game ever. Uh, let's see. Let's put that one away. Why are these not stacked? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a, Let's that's see, do we have any cool those. wood around here? If you have some cool wood, I can make a, some, a very practical house. And also, here's the thing. Early dungeons just like the bur uh, burial chambers can give you circling cores. And you need those to make smelter and fortress and other things, along with portals. Yeah, uh, though this... Oh, this is a burial ground. Yeah, just need to view it from the correct angle. Ah, fine! Uh, yeah, this is the Black Forest, like it says in the upper right corner of the mini map up there. And this is basically stage two, uh, where the normal trees are replaced with fir trees. And, and pine. Yeah, pine are the ones you'll want because those can give the core wood, which is a stronger one. Also good for building. Yeah. Oh, and some blueberries here. Let's see, let me mark those in the map. And I can hear some... Oh. Ooh, hello. That's a starred great dwarf. Okay, get rid of you. 
and I don't know why it's running away at the moment, actually. Typically, they are a lot more aggressive. They are afraid of fire, but we're not care we don't have any fire on us. Where the fuck are you going? <clears throat> Pardon. And yeah, they will throw go. stones as a ranged attack. Come on, attack me. I want to I want to parry you. Too early. There we go. And yeah, like I said, higher star, higher drops. Oh, hello. Oh, These are carrot seeds, which we, of course, we need to plant our own. Uh, let's see, you're over there. I should. Oh, there. Let's see, you're gonna. Boom. Do mark it on my map. Oh, I can play. I can carry much more wood on me, then I will get as much wood as possible. Grab some uh, foods and such. Uh, at, as they run down, their effect will also uh, diminish. So the, the, it doesn't just drop completely once they run out. It gradually diminishes. So it is always a good idea to keep some wood, uh, some food on hand, to well refresh your bonuses. Oh yeah. There we go. How oh, is everything? You do. You want to die as little as possible. For if you die, you um, you lose some skill points. Yeah. Or both but when you're dead, uh, you survive. You have you. Enemies won't be able to spam kill you. So once you die, you have a new skill point drain. And once you grab your body, you get the corpse run buff. It allows you to grab your corpse and run like heck. Yeah. So you can equip your stuff again. So again, it's a hard game. But it's fair. Riding. Okay. Uh, yeah, as you do things, you will upgrade these skills. Uh, running, unarmed combat, club use, blocking, axe use, wood cutting. Wood cutting is probably going to be very high for everyone. Uh, jumping, swimming. I don't know the exact amount that each uh, level in that helps with things. But it is nice to just have it higher just in case. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's finish demolishing this place, apparently. And, yeah, then we can go for the burial ground. And then the boss. And, yeah, even st stuff you haven't built yourself, if you break it, you get the full price back. Ooh, yeah. Uh... And, yeah. Drakir is going to be the builder between the two of us. Yeah, like, uh, here's the thing. Hila did not notice it himself. I only learned it some years ago that Hillion is a very Dutch builder. Yeah, and that's supposed to his, mean... Uh, basically, I don't think... I didn't know this and you didn't know this. But I noticed when I was on the Valheim roof video and I noticed the roofs that you, you kept building. And they were called it a rot Dutch roof. Uh, I think they called it Dutch, Dutch roof something. Okay. <laughs> and that's how I realized, oh, he's being Dutch without knowing it. Apparently. Or something along that line. Uh, yeah, this thing, uh, another thing about the building, if you leave stuff outside like this, it gets rain damaged to about 50%, I believe. So, yeah, yep. you want to build that. roofs around your stuff. In the meantime, I'll just repair this. We could Actually, uh, we could probably put the boar in here once it's tamed. In that fence, yeah, that's, a, that, that's the idea. Now, in this uh, smaller house here. Uh, Hospital, just good luck getting it over there. I think you can now make the move just unsure. Okay. Uh, let's see then. 
I'll just break one of these prepared piles. These don't damage. But they do contain a bunch of wood in them. You can make your own, let's see, over here. For 50 of each type of wood or stone or coal. Yep, no need for that. Okay. Uh, let's make another one of these. And just put it behind here. And then we can continue repairs. Yeah, just the repairing system and the fact that you get full price back, that is a that is really a good thing because it allows you to build and just move your uh, bases and such without any penalty. Because typically in survival games, when you <clears throat> when you break something, you get only like 50% back, if anything at all. Yeah. So and it kind of... Really it's one of those annoying them. things I'm glad I just got rid of. Let's see. Oh, I should yeah. probably show you this, Ilian. Uh, if I can come over here. Coming. This is what I learned about cool wood. Okay, okay, you're gonna... This, this is how I used to do. I used to do that. Then this. However... This a lot you can do with cool wood. Okay. This means um, you don't need to raise the ground to do this. Uh, yeah, the reason he's leaving open an area like that is because of... Let's see, where is it? Probably another crafting here. Uh, yep, and... A fire yeah, pit. also, traditionally you in the Viking house, you had a usually yeah. fireplace in the middle. Yeah, the hearth, for which we need a stone cutter, which we don't have at the moment, of course. Oh, I... Realize I made a little bit shorty, but uh, there you go. At least I got the measurement right. Uh, there we go. Let's see. While you're doing that, I'll go. I'll go bother some skeletons. Yeah, you're welcome to plunder the burial ground. Since we are two people early on, so might as well. Yeah, take advantage of that. Yeah, split up. Plus, these aren't too difficult at this stage. With, well, with our Early equipment. on, had we been completely fresh without our gear, then we would need to be both in there. But okay. currently, with Hillian's gear, he'd be fine. Yeah. I'll just take a torch and a hammer. And let's see. We can also find these yellow mushrooms in here, which are also pretty nice. Um... I'll drop these. Actually, we'll probably not drop those. I'll drop the boar trophy. I'll need to drop something else later as well. Okay. These are randomly generated. I think. So, yeah. We'll just have to explore around. Those bone fragments, I don't think they're of any use at the moment. I don't know if they're used for anything. Uh, you can you can use them for upgrades and such. Okay, so useful later. Some more yellow mushrooms. Or early on, if you had a club, but um, yeah, we're not going to be using clubs. Start skeleton. Not that it matters much. And I think there was a bone pile here that, basically, uh, in these dungeons and such, you were. Uh, there will be spawners that well, will spawn more enemies. Uh, you can just break those with normal attacks as well. Let's see, a chest with a ruby and some feathers. Uh, rubies and such are useful for, get, for trading for coins. Uh, at the trader, which luckily enough we got on the first island here. And uh, the trader is where you can get the belt. Uh, man manging yords. And other stuff. And I think that's a <laughs> skeleton trophy. <laughs> okay, let's continue on through here. Ooh, this is what we want. That's a circling core. So let's drop some leather scraps. Because we're not going to use uh, need those much. Uh, typically in these burial chambers you'll find at least two or three, I think. 
Uh, they are randomly generated, so it could be just about... Well, I think we found about five or six in one at one point. It even t I think even record is like 12 or something. Okay, yeah, that's a bone pile. Just smash it, and we get rid of them. You could maybe leave one of those if you want to spawn, uh, if you want to camp them for, well, training your skills. Uh, but we have little use for that at the moment. Oh, amber, that can also be traded in. I'll, yeah, I'll drop the dwarf eyes. Those are used for, port for making portals. But, well, <laughs> we're probably going to end up with tons of those already, as is. Um... Blint can also be dropped at the moment. Useful early on, not so much at the stage that we are. Let's see, nothing else. And yeah, these places can be pretty dangerous, especially early on. And especially if you're new, <laughs> all of the noises are just creeping you the hell out. Oops, yeah. This okay, this one's a dead end. So that's a single circling core in this entire place. I don't think that's enough to even make a forge. Uh, how many do you find? One. Oh, yeah, you need um five. Yep. There we go, get rid of them. Actually, Great Wars will drop resin, which is used for making torches and such. And I'm hunting the wrong way. Okay. They typically can be easily spotted by their glowing eyes, unless, well, everything is blue by fog, as is. Uh, there are three types of Great Dwarfs. Or actually, typically, technically four if you count the Graylings. There's the normal ones with the blue eyes. And you have Brutes with red eyes, which, well... As brutes, they are stronger versions. And you have and shamans, clubs. like the you know, shamans, like the one we fought over there earlier. Those are the support and healers. And <laughs> that longhouse is coming along quite well. Uh, not really that longhouse, but still a Viking house, so to say. Longhouse will be actually be massive and started out as barracks before it became family homes. Okay. But it wasn't meant for several families then. And it, let's put the torch away so it's not burning up, even though it can easily be remade. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to store all of the food in this chest here at the moment. Yeah, so normally I don't build it, it this big early on, but since we are two people, I figured out it's probably a good idea to do it like this. So, uh, we need a bit better smoke uh, output here because it's drafting back into the house. Oh, damn it. Yeah, it can be a little bit finicky sometime. Let's see, do we have any wood stored here? No. Actually, I'm just going to take these, stack them, and just toss them out. Because we don't really want those. Yeah, basically, they, they make you puke and empty out your stomach, thus losing all of your food buffs. But it does mean that you can apply newer ones, because... Yeah, I don't think you can eat something else until they are, are halfway down their duration. So if you eat yeah. the wrong thing, that would be there. They'd be useful for that. How do I have two torches? Oh well. Uh, oh, but I run, uh, almost ran out of wood. And, oh, I've almost broken my hammer. Whoops. Do I have a workbench in here? No, we don't. Yeah, there are a few outside, but they need roofs to be usable. So, might as well put one inside here now. Yeah, at least temporarily. So I can repair the hammer. Yeah, it, unless there's a roof above them, you can't use them. It needs a roof. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this ha axe has taken some damage. Uh, let's see. I'll just make a little plot for the carrot seeds that we got. That sort of rhymes. Yeah, just point and click with this. 
it sort of try, it tries to level out the ground as well. And by right clicking, we can select other things to do. Oh. But for now, we just need. Hello. Hmm? Say hello to Mr. Log. Oh, oh, that's a bunch of them. Yeah, with that. Oh, no, there's a firefly that I'm seeing in the back. I, I thought there was another patrol coming in. Uh, yeah, great dwarf patrols, or, or parties, or whatever you would call them, they roam around the black forests. And, uh, yeah, they can be uh, they can be quite a pain if you get stuck in the middle with them. Yeah, though, some areas are more dangerous than other patrols, like... If you build a base near the plains, you may think you're safe in the meadows, but if you build too close, those fooling or goblins that people call them may come for you. And low level you don't want to face the little bastards. Yeah, furlings are <laughs> very, very strong. I, I, I think I told you before, but furling is a Swedish word. It's it's not a swear, but it's still an insult. Okay. Fool means ugly, so basically... Fooling basically means you, you're basically basic calling someone an ugly. Uh, but let's be let's... honest, they are not pretty. Yeah. Uh, most things will try to stick together with the building, but these... Uh, what are they called specifically? Steak walls. Uh, they mostly stick to each to the sides because they're not really meant to be built on top of each other. Come back here, you. Uh, let's see. To solve this little problem. Yeah. What do you think of the house so far? Uh, give me a moment. I'm going to finish this off. I'll. Put a half wall inside. There, that should what the? that should capture all of the smoke and send it uh, outwards. Helium. Mm hmm. I found copper. Okay. It, right over here. It, right behind here. Also, there's something right behind you. Yeah, shamans have a poison spray and a healing cloud like that. Uh, you want to take them out first. Oh, I'm low on health. And low on everything. Oh, what's up? They are so nice to volunteer to be beating the materials. <laughs> Wait. Oh, God. That, that means we're literally making a house of their bodies. Uh, no wonder they're being aggressive. Yeah, and over here, he'll... Come, come. Okay, I'm going... I'm going to be careful with my hammer since it's almost broken. Yeah. Okay, it's sticking out over the cliff. This is kind of good, but though it may mean we may need to do bid something to catch all the copper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, copper you'll find in these big chunks that you'll have to dig into. Uh. Yeah, I need to get some food. And I need to dig myself out of this hole. I Did see you... it and I break it into a bigger hole. <laughs> okay, I might have to go all the way around at this rate. Depending on how this breaks. How? Oh, hill. <laughs> I think I'm in a position where they really would say, dig up, idiot. Uh. Oh, he's gonna fall into the water. I, 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 I need to wash this. Wash, watch. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no satisfaction for you today. <laughs> but yeah, we should build some sort of net around that. And I need to go heal. Okay, uh, this little symbol up here means that it can't be teleported. Okay. Uh, put that there. Nothing else for this box. Probably should put down a second one. Or another, more like, truthfully. 
<clears throat> uh, let me grab some of the deer meats. And I do have some yeah, cooking stations. Yeah, you can put multiple of those over a single fire. You, the only thing I would advise is that you be able to interact with them. Act. And just let that cook. I enjoy some shrooms and berries. Um, if my memory is correct, uh, plants and such give balanced, uh, give a balanced, uh, oops. Give a balance uh, in stat or more towards stamina, whilst meats and such give more towards health. And I can hear some troublemakers again. Yeah, they're in the house. Keep them away from the bushes. Yeah, one of them is at them at the moment. I think. Hmm. Yeah. Having torches like this will generally cause them to panic somewhat, making them easier targets, though they will just run around like headless chickens for a, b a bit. Uh, what is that? Yeah, that's the berries that I threw out. Probably should have thrown them into the river. Uh, let's see, more stuff here. Sparkles are very useful at showing that. Some stone, some resin. Lost them here. No, no wood. That might keep a few more away. Yep, one inside. And yes, you can accidentally <laughs> damage your own property. But you can just repair it for free again. There we go. That should keep them out. Uh, how's the boar doing? Did it survive? I Seems hope broken it one survived. Of the Let's see. Oh, it survived, but it is hungry. Uh, throw in some more raspberries. Okay. Shift click to split. There we go. More of those stupid berries. Yeah, I'm just going to grab them over here and toss them in the river. Are they trying to attack the I think there's a great dwarf over there, or no, those are fireflies. I th I thought I heard something getting damaged. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, things you throw out, you won't automatically pick up again. So that is useful for well, <laughs> getting rid of things you don't want to have equipped. Or in your inventory. Uh, let's see. Put some more on the, f on the fire. Uh, can I put down another one? No. Short of wood. Just one wood short. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. You do need to stick with anything you, you know, you're cooking on these you know, over the fire because it do it can get burnt. So that is a way of getting coal, I think. Uh, uh, makes do, sense. do you have any wood on you, helium? A what? Wood? Uh, a single piece. <laughs> oh. Well, more wood shopping then. I just realized yeah. he's been sleeping through the night. We've been working through the night. Yeah, sleep isn't a requirement. But it is useful to get the rested buffs. Okay, crouching with control. Makes us somewhat stealthy. There, just feed the stupid thing. It should try to eat them. I think, I think it's stuck in the palisade. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's stuck. <laughs> Stupid thing. Okay. Let's evict. And... Hmm. I should probably make... See about making a flint axe for these trees. Hmm. 
Also, I should probably mark the burial grounds. Uh, I th burial grounds can spawn in both the the meadows and the black forest, I believe. Or the black forest, but something is spawning in other areas if they are close enough. Okay, let's use this one. Uh, uh, and then left click it once to show to cross it, so uh, as to mark it as a uh, well plundered. Oh, some more carrot seeds over there. Carrots, uh, vegetables lean more towards stamina, I believe. Uh, yeah, carrots give a lot of stamina, I believe. Uh, best thing cooked. Yeah, obviously. Let's see, deer meat is a bit better. <clears throat> Then boar meats. Okay, let's give you a, some of that. Hmm? It did land near a rock. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. I might go toward. What is that over there? Oh, that's the. That's just the, the river. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think the boar needs a bigger enclosure. But for now, yeah, yeah, I'll go I, look for I would have given the bigger one, but it was a bit of a rush job. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just go grab some flint, make a, yeah, make a pickaxe, not a pickaxe, make an axe with that, and get the chopping down the trees around here. I'm um, almost done. Well, I do need wood for the floor. But I, I couldn't quite fall here. Okay. Uh, once we're done, with, once you're done with that, let's go for the boss then. Yeah, probably good idea. Yeah. And it doesn't look like there's going to be a s <laughs> an area here that is uh, close to the water or low to the water. It would be a better word. Yeah, we probably gonna need. Like, this is will be the beginner base until we find one better. That's why I'm making this big. For this is going to be our sleeping house and workhouse. Until we find a better base. Get out! Oh. Stones. Oh, that, stones was that's going to be annoying point. to clean up. <laughs> Let's see. Heat these world of Ulf, a poor settler in a strange land. You will find here good stone and wood. All you need to build a house. You will uh, need to craft a roof to keep out the rain. Then you will need, need walls to stop the roof from falling down. Finally, you must have a door or will be much harder to go in and out. <laughs> these things Ulf has learned for himself. Now he writes them on this stone to help others. Pray to Odin for his soul. Uh, yeah, some of those stones will give... Yeah. <laughs> Little bits like that. Okay. I think it'll be better for me to head to the shoreline. Uh, because having to climb all the way back up that is going to be a pain. Let's see. Any. No bees in here. But there are some arrows and some more feathers. Feathers, of course, can be used with some. You know, to make some or most arrows, I believe. It has been far longer since I played this game than it has been for Drakir. <laughs> it might actually be a good idea for me to put off these two because they give movement but, uh, debuffs. As does this the hammer that I've been using. So there we go. That's 15% faster. That does mean that I have a lot less armor as well. But it should be... Oh, wrong type there. It should be good enough for the moment. Mushrooms. Yeah, I'm just marking everything that uh, is in clusters like that. And that we can't plant ourselves. Oop. A start skeleton with a bow. And gone. Uh, that that little bar to the right of the center, I think that is our breaking you know, line or something. If it gets fold, I think we are knocked uh, back and left vulnerable to attack. 
I think. I don't know for certain. Last time I played, that wasn't there. Skeleton after us still. Uh, whilst I'm here... Actually, no. That's out. Uh, yeah. In the Black Forest, you can find copper and tin. Though tin only at the edges of water. <laughs> he walked right into that, quite literally. In these little deposits here. Which are, of course, needed to make bronze. But I'm after... Plint at the moment, which should also be in the waters. Uh, do grab some uh, tin, since we're gonna need them. Okay, I'll just eat up some more of my food. There we go, get some blood more health. Metals, of course, are very heavy, so we can carry only a limited amount. There we go. That's a, that's a rock. <laughs> uh, yeah, with pickaxes you can also dig into the ground, up down to a certain level. Uh, that level is dependent on the starting height, though, so you can't dig, uh, yeah, you can't dig out an entire mountain. There we go. Ah, there are some flints. Need to make some space. Uh, we can get rid of the trophies. Just only the deer trophies have a function. The others are just decoration. And we're back in the meadows. Okay, I see. It looks like the flint mostly spawns in meadows waters. Yeah, they can't do that. Then again, if you're in the Black Forest, you're probably already done with Flint. Okay. Um, I'm not dropping those. I'll drop these. Uh, yeah, he didn't drop a tail. Yeah, next you can kill for their tails, which support them, which serve as a meat source. It's, there's some more. I'm grabbing more than needed at the moment. That's because it'll be uh, probably a good idea to upgrade our flint axes as well. And we probably need well, more flint for that. Okay. Also... Yeah, I can make a fire now. I won't build one just yet, but being near a fire just rapidly depletes the amount of... Uh, no, it rapidly burns through the wet uh, debuff. Oh yeah, and it probably be a good we start to, to have campfires with us since it can refill our uh, rested uh, buff. Yeah. This might be good to do in the wild. More stones. And back into black forest bits. And back into meadows. Yeah, the, the, the world generation can be a bit janky from time to time, but it was a lot more janky before. Yeah, but they did they did fix it quite uh, fast. And there has been a lot of issues they had in the some months ago, but they already fixed those as well, since it may have been related to Steam and whatnot. Okay. As well, all the quality of life, so game runs even smoother. So they they've been working hard. Yeah, the developers of this are genuine, are one of the good ones in the indie development scene. Oh yeah, there, there has been some people talking flack with them, but from what I've seen, it's been people with double standard and not understand that we have our, our like. Here's the thing: we are legally required to take our holidays, and we have more holidays than people in the USA, especially vacation days. Okay, there's a village over here, with one of my deaths over there, but I think that was from when I was trying to run back and grab the, the equipment I'd lost. 
So that isn't a Draugr village, I think. It's too small for that either. Nope. Okay. The <laughs> shaman just sliding down the hill towards me. Okay. We see them sliding, rolling, <laughs> and I don't know where I go with that from there. Some more tin here. Uh, I'm almost full on weight. And I'm almost done with the house. Okay, yeah, full on that. Uh, let's see if we drop that and grab. Oh dear. Okay, just about. Yeah, I say this. Next time we stream this, let's bring the greens. I, I will be bring some seeds from my saves just to get us some good food going early on. Okay. But that's really it. Just some some seeds, really. Like some things we're gonna need to fight the bosses for. Yeah, and the metals we can grab ourselves in here. Though probably not all on stream. Because, yeah, mining can take quite a bit. Oh, yeah, it can. It can be helped or eased with, let's see, these carts here. Since they will allow you to put a lot of weight on those. It does can make them a bit difficult to move around. But it's a lot better than, a, yeah, having to run back and forth every 10 metal or something like that. Yeah... Actually, when we do mining this time, let's make little mining camps. Oop, and I found another burial Wait. site, I think. Yeah, actually, learn something. If you build under the copper mine, you can put a campfire under it, along with a workbench, and still repair at the enter pick. Okay. So it counts as sheltered. Uh, yeah, it's a burial site. Okay, just going to mark that. <laughs> no great link picking a fight. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, the armor does need some repairs, but they aren't anywhere near danger in danger of breaking. Yeah, uh, armor rarely breaks unless you have the really bad ones, uh, I've like rag mushrooms. But usually, once you repair, you just repair all anyway, so you rarely have armor breaking. Yeah. This is kind of nice. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was thinking a moment why am I not picking these up. Oh, because <laughs> one single damn mushroom put me overweight. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, something that is nice in this game is if you put down a bed somewhere, or if you are uh, have a bleh, either if for a bed or where your spawn point is or where you've set it, uh, it will show a map. It'll show a bed on the map, so you can't oh, yeah, actually that lose is... your base. Yeah, still do good to mock it out with a house or something, but still very good thing to have. Okay. For a moment, I thought it was a monkey, but no, it's a, <laughs> it's the workbench from an odd angle. Uh, yeah, what do you think of the house so far? No, looking good. You've done Again. this design before on the previous map. Uh, I think we did something similar with the stone, but yeah, this one is made for us to live and work in. It's actually a, a, a lost version of it. Uh, let's see. A lost for a reason. And don't take it out of context, you mongrels. Okay, let's put down another chest here. They can, things can clip a bit through each other, but oh well. Uh, I'll put the wood in there. I'm to put the build more flooring. Resin, stone, draugr eyes, bones. Those were already in there. There 
where did I put the feathers? There. Yeah, it, it is a good idea to keep organized with your stuff. Because by the you know, as you go, you well with every base, with every, <clears throat> with every survival building game, you will eventually lose track of where you have stuff stored. Okay, some more carrots. You can't put these too close to each other because they need some space to grow. Okay. Um, but I put the wooden arrows. Did I use them up already or something? These, these flint arrows are not great. And we get more wood. Again. Okay. I'll put okay, this some to pick here. up here. As well as the oak saplings, or the acorns. And... Let's see. Oh yeah, I don't know if it's the case, but I'd be saying it is. Always cut up your stumps for... If you leave too many stumps around, it could cause frame issue. As long as if you just leave too much loot laying around for it, it takes a way for it to despawn. So, don't loiter. Litter. <laughs> Litter. Sorry. Oh yeah, loiter is something else. Let's see. Let's put one down here. That'll cover the boar pen and the house. Oh, come here. on. Almost. Almost. And I'll put down the workbench here to cover the house. And remove this one over here. Since otherwise they will just get damaged further and further. Oh! Okay. Just let... Alright, there you go. There you go. Okay, let's see. Crafts. And... and flooring done. Now to do some pillar work. Let's see. Flint axe. Just need a bit more wood for that. Oh, so the reason I'm putting these pillars here against the wall like this is second. if they put it tightly together, they will make the walls above them, uh, between them, blue. Which means all this yeah. About two, four meters high or blue and give proper support, like... Yeah, that's only like one greenish-yellow spot on the roof of the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, basically it is very, very secure. And we could even build a second floor up from that. And I'm turning green by doing a logical addition to support the ceiling. Yeah, chopping wood in this game is always an experience because half the time you'll either get <laughs> it's falling towards you or it'll get stuck against another tree like this or start a complete domino effect. Okay, plenty of wood. So let's go make that flint axe. There Probably we go. To make two. Now the roof is fully supported. And yeah, this this here in the middle looks nice as well. Here we go. And One intruder. Yeah, he, he's seeing himself out already. Sir, sir, may I have your attention, please? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Was not intended. Okay. Uh, there and there. Also, let's repair all of this. It's not too much damage, but still good to keep it uh, uh, yeah, topped up. Okay. Oh, oh, this is good. I was a bit worried, but the heat reaches both walls. Let's see. Fire. Yeah. Oh, just a little bit short if you're pushing against the wall here, but still. Once the, that's replaced with a heart, it'll probably... Uh, it will reach. Yeah. It will yeah. reach. Okay. 
Now let's get this stone, uh, this flint axe to use. It is a lot less damage, but it should still be. Should it still? Is it still good enough for the birch? Uh, no, too hard. It doesn't deal. Yeah, enough you need damage. a bronze or higher for the birch. Okay, it'll still be good enough to chopping up the normal logs. It'll take a bit longer, but oh well. We until we can repair our metalworks. Uh, yeah, it'll have to do. <laughs> yeah, do. I see, I have a, s a stag head, so yeah. I think we definitely can take on the boss at this moment. Yeah, I have and two probably, heads. Yeah, for if we take you know now, we are in a better advantage and can get some backup pickaxes if needed. Yeah. As well, I just I just started saying that I use the antler. Uh, well, if I had a bronze and antler pickaxe, I used the antler one to dig around the copper, then the bronze to mine the copper. Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's finish things up a little bit more then, go to sleep, and then we take on the <laughs> the deer uh, in the morning. Yeah, Ictir. And we have about 30 minutes remaining of the stream, so it'll probably be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, let's see, carrots are growing decently. It does take time, of course. Oh, I love this new axe skill. <laughs> yeah, the overhead chop. Yeah, it, it, it makes chopping wood so easy. Especially the stumps. I can hear more intruders. Yep, wrong click there. Uh, yeah. I can make you a flint axe as well, if needed. There you go. I just had an idea. Something mm -hmm. I also did have done. That should probably be a good idea here as well. Just extending the boar pin a little bit. And rain, of course. <laughs> Oop. Something's fighting. In the opposite direction of you, so it's probably infighting between skeletons and uh, gray dwarves. Yep, yeah, but. Oh. Let's place those. There and there. Um, let me put a new one of these up. And then break the middle bits. To get the boar stuck from the ceiling. Of the wall. Get back here, you. Oh, now it's really foggy. Yeah, at least not as foggy as in the mistlands. Oh, up with wood again. Yeah, this game it can be really freaking atmospheric. Yeah, and frightening. Wait, grab, grab a little bit more wood. I made a campfire where I, where I feel like it could be good for us to make our beds at. Okay. And yeah, let. Oh, I thought it was raining still, but I wanted to show the uh, fire and resting uh, bit. Okay, let me just run around a second here to drain out all of that. I, I think I think the higher your run is skill is, the faster you refill. Uh, the, the, the slower it drains out. That's the word. The higher run skill, the faster you run and the slower it drains. Okay. So, always good to level it up. I played on my first character, and she was 83 in front skill, and bloody heck, it was a noticeable difference between my new one and her. Okay. Uh, any more preparations? We have food, we have uh, materials. Uh, just moving the beds here and some furniture so we get some reset buff. And we are good to go. Some other things I could do 
Well, at another point. Ease, break that. That. Uh, <laughs> that must be touching the ceiling, so it's still standing. Well, floating. Okay. Furniture. Chair. Yeah. Can we be sleeping? Or decide I will do an opening here later for the smelter and such. Okay. Uh, where's the table? Where's the table? Fine words. Oh, I know why I can't make that. Because the chairs are also fine wood. There we go. One is needed anyways. There we go. That's comfort eight. Yeah, I, I, do you know why it's comfort eight? I feel something very special. No. Next to your bed. Yeah, <laughs> the Yule tree as well. <laughs> Good Yule. And now we have <laughs> comfort nine because of the rug. Yep. Okay. Rest up. And yeah. Okay, there was some sort of dream about uh, being a wolf or predator or something. Okay. Day 13. Yep. It took me a bit to get all around the place, after all. Yeah, he, he, he scouted the wool area. Yep, not enough woods for another chest. I'll put my axe in there for a moment. Put my equipment back on. Another one of those... And I just realized berries. something here. The final touch for the house. Yep, he's... There! <laughs> okay. What do you think? It's fitting. There's a little bit sticking out here. Oh, that, that, that's uh, intentional. That's okay. decorative. And as well, it gives some uh, structural support. Okay. Making another flint axe. This one for you. We can work on upgrading those later. For oh, now... Even to oh. Uh, put that there, put that there. This is just temporary storage at the moment. Let's grab some food. And then we go deer hunting. Uh, there you go. Now I have it. And I should cook the little food I have. Yeah. The yellow mushroom gives double the stamina of the normal mushroom. So they're definitely worth getting. Honey also gives a lot of stamina. Okay, I thought honey used to give more healing, but no, apparently. Um, perhaps they balance it a little bit. Uh, let's see. I'll take some of the honey and I'll use boar meat and deer meat for health and such. Just in case this thing turns out to be a bit tougher than we remember. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, you worry too much. Okay. You, you know up. what we are on right, right? Right? Yep. Okay, this way. Uh, what I have on my map, Rakir can't see for the most part. We need a, a special table for that. The cartographer's table. Though we can't yep. make that yet. Yeah, we're going to need some bronze and berries to make it. Yeah, we so have... probably off stream, we're gonna try to gather some tin and copper. Yeah, we already have some. It's the 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 yeah. it's the chorus that we need more of. Yeah, that too. We actually, yeah, we probably more priority to get the cores, so that way we can get smelting and all that, and get the forge table and cauldron up. Yeah. <laughs> Dandelions. I'll probably just map these with just single letters for now. Just to make it not have to type it out every time. Okay. We could even make this a little 
combat camp if needed. And... Okay, I Actually, I'm, it. I would go. As it is, so. I'm glad we're not in the middle of the woods for this. For one of my characters, a I thought, oh, I evaded the tree log. Only for you to land in front of my face in the middle of the boss combat. Not on me, but right in front of my face. Okay. Hammer Basically, I have to eat up my own words. Yeah, I have minus 20 movement at the moment, but we should be more than plenty. Here we go. Where does he spawn? Right on top and of us. The music. Uh, yeah, you Ooh, can see how strong our hammers are. That, we, we cut off its metal music. <laughs> and there we go. One trophy. And yeah, let's take that back and hang it up. Wait, wait, wait. Do you, do you have the head? Uh, you picked it up, it's from the looks of it. Oh, all right. I had to double check. For otherwise, we had one. We could have one for the whole house. <laughs> Actually, uh, we, we could probably kill them uh, then, uh, again at some point. Just for the decoration. Yeah, I, I have... Unless they've upgraded... Uh, yeah, unless they've updated the bosses, but I, th I think they have. Then that is the first them, boss yeah. is the most metal at the moment. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think they made... Elder and bone mass a bit harder, and they also update their visual looks. And it, as it is, bone mass looks more horrifying now. Before it looks a bit freaky and derpy, now he looks actually terrifying. Okay. All right. You have it, so the honor is yours. Gods of uh, Idrasil. Of the Asgard, I grant you this sacrifice. And now that we have the trophy hung up, we can take we can take an ability from him. In this case, if we were to take the, uh, this uh, forbidden ability, we would we well, your ability to run and jump is improved. Jump stamina usage is dropped by sixty percent, and the same for uh, run stamina. At the moment, yeah, I still have the bone mass one equipped from our world. Yes. Yeah. However, if I stand close to Helion and do mine, for I'm using that uh, blessing, I will be sharing it with him. Yeah. So now we have bone mass and eight tears and blessings. I forget specifically what bone masses does, but I think it's combat Ooh. related. You, you get tanky. Yeah. Come here, you. Come here, you. You, you, he's gonna do it. I'm going to try and kick a deer. Get here and get Sparta. Or in this case, Valheim. <laughs> oh, I did kick it. That's another yeah. thing. You get more loot from deers if you shoot them. Yeah. Because you're actually supposed to be hunting them. Yep. But yeah, Aegtir's ability is very useful for moving stuff around. And let's As well for exploring. Yeah. Maybe I should have moved to my, to the previous world just to pick up that ability so I don't, didn't need to spend like a, a week in game running around quite literally. Ye yeah, you should probably do on that. Anyways, the burial chamber is this way. And let's hope that it has enough circling cores in it for us to make a smelter. And lion. I mean, I'm just plucking these up everywhere I can. Yeah, it's all like if you're exploring, always have room for berries and such. For even if you don't eat berries, you can use them for food and healing potion and whatnot, as well for yep. decorations. Mushrooms. It reminds me, some of the new food in the Mistlands are mushrooms. <laughs> of course. That you can only plant in the Mistlands. Ah, yeah, similar to the. Uh, I forget the name, but 
the... Lax and barley. Yeah. Those can only be uh, uh, planted in the plains, I think it was called. Yep. So if you were to find a small plain island on an I or like one of our early maps, that yep. we, I think we, stupid, we could probably just uh, use the seed code for that. Just made it... We had an island where the plane was only on the beach. Oops. Which was very good, except for the locks and mosquitoes. But if you had build base on the beach, instead of building on a drug village nearby, we would have secured it and have easy time to uh, plant things. But yeah. We may make a base on an island or somewhere practical and secure. Okay, I remember being able to break these chests to basically mark them as plundered or something. Oh well. Uh, you can, but usually good. How if you hover your arrow or whatever, it says empty or your crosshair. Yeah. Go. Good batch already. That's three of them. And a pearl and some amber. Yeah, I found one here. Okay, that means we have enough. Okay, I got three. Oh, um, then we have five already. Yeah, but let's. Let's plunder more for. We need five for the kiln and five for the smelter. Yeah, so if we find four more, we can bake both. Knock, knock. Oh, that's two. Some more valuables. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, do you want the circling core to carry? Uh, yeah, give them to me then. Yeah. There we go. Seven, that means we have eight total. Uh, do you want me to carry the coins? Uh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. When you play multiplayer, do this. You get more rewards out of the dungeons. Plus, it's easier to carry all of the stuff. When you yeah. Have, uh, when people carry specific things, this one's being pretty pretty big. It's an upper area even, or possible upper area. Let's see. Oh, another door nope, here. Sealed off. Uh, nothing there, except the mushroom. Uh, mushrooms are still useful. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, just to show that they do burn. And this is a dead end. This is a dead end. I have to leave the stone there for now. Uh, actually, let's take a check in the inventory. Uh, do, do you any? Do you have rubies or such to throw to me? Uh, yeah, I'll throw them out in the entry ways. In the, yeah, in the entry way here. More skeletons. Oh, come on. I still got full. Uh, I've got a few spots open. So, and yeah, if, just leave everything I can't you, you can carry. And I'll, I'll pick it up on the way out. And that's another core. And another one. Okay, and some more stuff in there. Okay. And that's all three wings. So... Alright, let's see. What do we have? What are we carrying? Okay, you know what? Do you have room for antlers? Uh, yeah, I have one spot open. There you go. Yep, the hard antlers. Now, Those I did, uh... the pickaxe. All right, I guess that's it. Okay, that means, yeah, we have enough for both. And we still have 15 minutes. So yeah, we can show some of that as well. Um, we probably won't be regularly streaming this game, but we will stream it from time to time, probably. Is that I don't solely be stream it every day. <laughs> that, that, that will be comic a twist, will not it? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, this way. 
Okay, now it is starting to bite me a bit that I took two meats and only the honey is extra. Because my, yeah, my stamina is a bit low. <laughs> He's sending across the entire forest. <laughs> but yeah, here nope. you see why I say it could be good for us to bring some of the other seeds. Like, middle and such, we will do here, but bring on some turnip and onions definitely will help early on. Yeah. Even more the foods that we can make with them. Oh yeah, for, it is a tough game, it can be fair, but sometimes it can be unfair in the way the map generates. Yeah. And uh, we don't want it to be a too slow of a gr start of a grind a lot here, so... Yeah, something we do off screen, but also prep so it's easier to start up with. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go uh, grab let's see here. other core. Uh, where shall we build the the metal works? I've got an idea. Okay. If you come over here, where I am. An extension. Yeah. Uh, for this, the smelter, the kin we will keep outside, but we will have the, the smelter within this. Okay, so we can oh. access it from inside. Exactly, it's gonna... Okay, we just need to grab the stone we have. And otherwise, go find more. Oh, yeah, that's plenty of stone. Okay. Smelter... Yeah, uh, probably a good idea to do do that. It needs a bit more height. There. Uh, wait, no, 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 put it in middle. Put it in the middle. Otherwise, we won't be able to reach uh, both sides. There we go. Now we're just gonna see if I can. Okay, and then the other one is the charcoal kiln. And let's just put this right outside here so we don't have to run all the way around. Or do you want to put in a door here? Uh, we, hmm. We can, I could. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we can put a back door there. Yep, that goes a bit high. <laughs> There we go. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, that is high. That was not where I aimed. That's there to be. Okay. There we go. Much better. Did I pick up? Yeah, I'll toss that for the moment. Well, I'll just eat that. Okay. And then just there. Okay, now we can feed wood into that to make charcoal, which, which we can fuel the smelter. And on the other side here, we can put in the metals. So, let me go grab those and more wood. We should probably start planting our trees. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. But it would be sad to deforest too much of the, uh, the trees around here. Uh, let's see, where are the tree seeds? There they are. To replant trees, we of course need the, the seeds for them. Yeah, uh, at least, they, at least you can well. plant the trees anywhere. You don't need a cultivated ground for planting trees. Yeah. Uh, miss? No, not that one. We need you just don't plant, it too, don't plant them too, too close to the house, for we don't, don't want them falling on the house. Yeah. Okay, I'll put the uh, I'll put the oak up on the hill here. Don't need to you know, need to plant them apart as well to give them room to grow. Uh, beach, we can. Yeah, I'll just put that over here. Uh, 
I was thinking I was, I was thinking of the birch, not the the beech. Okay, uh, <laughs> fir. I don't think we have any uh, sa <laughs> birch uh, saplings. I think we have some fur around. I'm pretty sure I put some in a box. Yeah, probably at the start. Right. Uh, actually, one of the boxes around here. Oh wait, I, I think I turned some of them into a, a holiday gift. Uh, noticing a small mistake with the fire here, that some of it is being sent back inside. So, yep. Oops. well, it should be too high to reach us. But otherwise, I can easily fix that. Yeah, I'm just going to put up a bit of roofing. Or, or wait, just which block one? It off. Oh, you meant that one? Yep. Oh wait, I see. Wait, that, that, that easy to fix. Easy to yeah, that. Yeah. This will still hang around for a bit, but it will escape in time. And this is a bit. <laughs> this is getting a bit smoky. So I think we need to. Uh, uh, yeah, that needs to go higher a bit. Oh no 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 no! It's not that bad. I can do all the things to fix that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. It would be funny if we could smoke meats and such by hanging it into you know, smoke like that. Oh, I, I like that idea. I like that. I would well, love that, actually. Yeah, that's a free one for the devs. I, I think that maybe I talked about it. But I'm sure, like, it could be something to do in future. What do, how... Roof's how something a bit really low that? here, but oh well. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to chop down some more woods. And, yeah, we can smelt some metals before we have to end. There we go. No chain reaction. Luckily, yet sadly. <laughs> and I... Yeah, a visitor. Uh, once we have some metal, we should be able to make the forge and repair our stuff. And that would be a good thing to finish on. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we. Hmm. I'm thinking we could make an extension to the side to make a storehouse, since we are going to need quite a lot of yeah, <clears throat> quite a lot of uh, space for chests and such. And one of the oaks already grew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my hammer is really starting to fail. There we go. Oh, I missed one corner. Okay, there we go. I put some in there. Don't have any more. And I forgot to grab the few. The, the metals. There we go. What do you think of that, Helian? Hmm. Uh, yeah, that, that'll help keep the, you know, the smoke out from us, at least, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, one thing I think the game could still use is probably some way to quick transfer stuff. Though I might just be forgetting if there already is a method for that or not. Because at the moment I'm having to sure move stuff manually. Self. Okay, where are the metals? There's the tin. Copper is in here, I think. Yes, it is. Okay. And let's grab more of the coal. And let's start with the copper. Uh, how do we... Is there a way to prioritize that? 
Okay. It can't just take multiple at once. I think it takes a bit more over one coal to smelt each uh, metal. Two coal per metal. Okay. That's going. Uh, it stopped working. It, it has coal, it has metal. Is it or suffocated is it... or you suffocated have suffocated probably? Yeah, my yeah, okay. I need to make that chimney a bit taller then. Okay, well <laughs> another thing learned. Actually, I, no, we don't need to uh, block it since it still needs an open vent, but it's immune to rainfall. Yeah. So we can keep the hole there. There we go. One other thing I would probably do is to up this corner here a bit, since it forces the camera completely down. Well. See it like this. It's, it's meant to be there, and it's supposed to be a wall there, too. Okay. Then I can just move the, the charcoal kiln out a bit later. Okay, that's two copper gotten. Now, let's see. Crafting. Where is... Arts and Forts. We need six copper for that, and four coal. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to keep feeding this thing. And we should have... Yeah, we had eight copper, so we can make the forge. That's three. I think in general it's a decent idea to try and have two kilns for each forge or smelter. Making this look nicer. Hmm. Could maybe move it to <laughs> that it just drops it in from here, but oh well. That's just a bit of cleanup for later. Uh, yeah, that's the basics of uh, Valheim. Uh, yeah, get better gear, or find new materials, make better gear, fight bigger things. And use their materials to make to make uh, better stuff for yourself. Okay, one more. Ooh. I'll need to grab a bit of stone or mine a bit of stone. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, forts, some more wood. Um, I hear the Grey Dwarf. Uh, yeah, there's a Greyling here. Okay, I'll just chop this up. Uh, short on wood with that. I'll just kill this stump here. There we go. Made it this front door look even nicer. And get lost, Grayling. Okay, that's just enough wood. Uh, shamans, two of them. Okay. Yeah, that that poison spray attack does leave them yeah. wide open for attack or retribution. <laughs> yeah. This is new. I've never seen three shamans attack like this. Oh, and there's a brute. There's a brute? No mind. Yeah, to our hammers, they fall pretty easily. They even drop some stone compared to the others who will drop uh, no stone. Uh, Grayling drop just resin. All Grey Dwarf drop stone, wood, and Grey Dwarf eyes. Do the brutes sometimes drop a dandelion? Yeah, for some reason. They, they, they have a dandelion growing on top of their head. Okay, forge is ready. But it's not high enough. Ne it's, it doesn't have a high enough level to repair our other stuff at the moment. For that, we need to build accessories to it. 
Oh, uh, that's the timer going off. I did not know that. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's see. With, yeah, with we a need bit to upgrade that. Yeah, with some bronze and a sharpening stone. Hmm? And, and oh, we're and another coal, all right. Okay. We should be able to get it upgraded decently enough uh, another time. But yeah, we're, we're not getting a freebie just yet on repairs. And more of those freaking berries. I'm guessing it's the shamans dropping them. Yep, I can put on some reach in my yeah, treasure here. Gee. Yeah, we we also gonna need to organize around here. Like, we have enough room to make a storage shelf around the, this workshop area. And over here, we have the food storage where we sleep and all in our gear. Yeah. And we can have most of our crafting stuff over here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's and I, put, wait I thought we save. could. Uh, over here, I thought we could put a chest where we fill with coal. So it's always there. And then we use the chest on the other side with raw metal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we can make. Yeah, we can make uh, just enough bronze, I think, for one of the upgrades. Uh, not that one. The, the hammers, or the anvils here. Okay. Yeah, definitely good to get the animals and all that. Uh, yeah, where's the cop? Where did I put the cop? Where did? Yeah, oh, wait, we only up. had nope. we had eight copper. Six of that went into the forge. And yeah, two of them went into making the bronze. So we are short on that. Oh well. So uh, at least, at least we have a couple nearby. I know we'll be fine, tin. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just set it today then, and then we uh, we can't sleep at this time. But it must be too early. Uh, yeah, it is day. I think you can sleep through the night as well, but hey, oh well. Uh, yeah. Let's just get her up here then, and let's see. I think it was safest for you to leave first. I think we had some issues with that at one point or another. Uh, I thought it was a more of a recommended uh, thing, just in case. Okay. But if I do that now? Yeah, you can log off. Then I'll quit the game. There we go. Okay, and we'll move over here while that is going on. Okay. Then screen, oh, no, screen share yes. yet. We're going to raid someone, so let's open up the browser. And usually, uh, yeah, I'd screen have to... share, otherwise, I can't see who we're going to raid. Yeah, there we go. Screen share. Thank you. And let's see who are online. The Yorks cast is online. Kane I is streaming Dark Tide. I, I, have been cert I have been enjoying that game a lot, though the load times are a bit of an issue. Then we have the lazy general who is streaming dark the yeah, dwarf fortress. I almost said dark fortress. <laughs> uh, Varia XLP is streaming the yeah, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Ruffy Raccoon is streaming Yakuza Zero. Kiri Natsuyoko is streaming Res Infinite. Can't say I've heard of that one, though I can't say I've burnt of Incul <laughs> Inculati as well. Whatever that is. I have seen that one. I seen Inculati a little bit. Okay. Uh, WBPL76 is streaming Final Fantasy IV. Touch Scaly Tail is streaming Sandwalkers, another one I haven't heard of. Same and here, I've not heard that one. Torpid Typist is streaming Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth, Hacker's Memory again. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Oh, the good one just... Bloody... The good cuts, but bloody heck, the dialogue does... Go on quite a bit. Yeah, it is a Digimon game after all. Yeah. And then we have someone else in the recommended. We have Dance Airy Dance streaming Dark Tide as well. PMC Trilogy is streaming Die Hard Nakatomi Plaza. A spe any percent speed run. Okay. Guardian ZET is streaming Bomber Girl. 
watching Lizard streaming Choo Choo Charles. That is a game oh, that I has see. been... In, yeah, <laughs> that, that, there's a bit of a story with that thing. It's, it's basically one man who made it across two years or so. Yeah, I, I watched. I, I actually found his YouTube video about the game before the game itself by accident. And, and he has done other games before, just this one is his own. Okay. Then we have Toria Hachio. I think I got that right. Streaming Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And then there's someone just chilling or just chatting. <laughs> Uh, what's the difference? Uh, any of those sound of interest? Hmm. Good question. Uh, let's see. Either the Lazy General, Kanai, or... Uh, what were the others? Yeah, one of those. Okay, so Dwarf Fortress or Dark Tide? Uh, coin flip or shall I pick? Uh, you pick. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking Dwarf Fortress then. That came out on Steam recently. I bought it myself. Uh, there is a free uh, version of it, but that is a bit arcane in its interface. But still, it, it's been the work of one or two people for like 20 years or something. It's yeah, definitely I, I, worth a look. It has been on Steam for a l way long time, actually, but only in early access. Now, it it like, wasn't available for purchase yet. It was to be a to be uh, announced. Yeah, for years. Yeah. So, Lazy General, let's go copy their name. Include the full thing, please. There we go. Copy. And then we go to our own place. There. All right. Slash raid and paste. Apps like is apparently on. Okay. Uh, but before we start that off, we of course thank you everyone who has been watching now or later, and thank you as always, of course, Vakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, we'll see when we can get in more of this. We might just alternate it between this and uh, Minecraft. Uh, speaking of which, we'll probably be streaming that in about uh, three hours. Um. Uh, it's currently 5 p.m. here, or a bit over. At 8 p.m., uh, we'll probably be streaming Minecraft or something else that, if it comes up. And possibly we'll, I'll be part of a third stream today, uh, as a, an, someone I know, Reedy Celeste, is planning a Town of Salem collab. Though that oh would dear. be in about eight hours from now, I think. So, oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Vakir won't be able to join for that, but it's probably going yeah. to be busy all the same. Uh, I'll, I'll be asleep at the, when you do that third stream. For now, let's start the raids, and uh, yeah, Minecraft likely, we might swap it out with something else, we'll see. Uh, but for now, thanks again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, and watch out for Graylings and Great Wolves. And boars and eggs and stags.